Right, man, good to uh, hard, hard fought three points today. Uh, you're obviously pleased with that. Pleased, that is hard day because teams are coming to the centre against us because they're expecting us to be quite good. So it's hard play against a five at the back. So I'm glad that we stuck out at half time. Johnny was adamant that we were going to win if we kept playing the way he wants us to play. Uh, it'd be fair to say the first half was pretty much instantly forgettable. Uh, there wasn't a lot happening at either end, and uh, you know I, I doubt my maybe did not happy with the performance uh, overall. Soccer punch right at the end, obviously was just not what we wanted at all. Not a particularly well defended goal, but we didn't want to lose. It's very it's frustrating. Eh? All the lads were sorry, we were bickering, but we got rid of that in the second half. So I'm glad that we didn't continue that in the second half. Uh, that is good. I mean, it's noticeable, obviously, for the sidelines as well. And, it's no ideal to see, but I suppose uh, it shows that the guys care and uh, are concerned. You know, it would be made a concern if people just shrugged their shoulders and run away. Um, the uh, second half, though, I think on the balance of play, even in the first half, we probably made a possession, but we did deserve to win the game. I don't think there's any uh, question on that. I wouldn't say that didn't. Well, they had one chance, and they, they had a good save in the second half, but apart from that, we played well, had patience, and I think we needed that luck with the goal, with the first goal. Wasn't it exactly a nice school? Wasn't a classic, but they were clean. It's good. And I think, uh, you know, patience is a key word, I think, in this whole thing. And as you say, obviously, we've got to a great start, 500 out of 5. I think it's only the second, third time that's happened in the club's history. Uh, obviously, we're there to be shot at the other clubs, and these are challenges that we all have to face mm -hmm. in the coming weeks. Uh, the likes of West Calder, I think, they exemplify all the opposition we're likely to have against often. Very determined, stuffy team, and they were stuffy. Aye. That'll happen a lot every week. Eh? I've seen it last season as well sometimes. Eh? But I think even more this season, teams will come and sit in. Even when we go through there, I think they'll still sit in. But we've just got to be patient, play well, play the way we're playing. Mm -hmm. I think we can still get better. I'm a third of the days. As long as we're still winning. Mm -hmm. uh, just a final question. Uh, obviously, your, uh, your goal scoring ratio has continued to pace uh, for last year. It's uh, pretty prolific for uh, our right back. I know you can play in other positions. And, Obviously, it's, uh, it's helped with the, the dead balls and the taking the penalties and free kicks, but that's, I couldn't say right off the top of my head, but that's something like enough, 36 goals in 105 games, that's pretty prolific. Yeah, it's, it's no bad luck. Uh, <laughs> I take it, I think I heard you say that's the main, well, you were never as prolific as that in your earlier days? No, no. I've never scored, well, I think one season when I was younger, maybe got about 15, but I think I was playing midfield. Uh, I mean, that was, that was four or five for this season on top of 19 for last year. Aye, good. well, Johnny made a joke when I signed to score 10 goals before I leave, but... Yeah, yeah. It's not essential, but now you've uh, contributed a great deal. And um, I, was, I was thinking earlier, I'll just ask you, what's, uh, when you go to school, are you planning to continue playing there, or are you waiting to see how things pan out? I think once, uh, maybe after a few months, once I settle somewhere and mm. get some work, I'm hoping to uh, maybe find a team once I start working. Just see if things pan out. Right, pull up. <laughs>